Right, by 2050, the number of people living in cities could double as the world population surpasses 9 billion and the number of cars could double from 1 billion today. Now imagine the traffic gridlock in major world cities with that many people and cars. Nigeria alone has a population of more than 190 million people and in Lagos, commuters are faced with such energetic and such energy and time-consuming traffic that almost renders you incapable of putting in your best at work due to the road stress. Yes, indeed, and it has uh, become a necessity to introduce innovative transport schemes that will transform the way people and products move around. Well, Skyway Capital is introducing a modern, high-speed, innovative, eco-friendly transport uh, technology. It's expected to help people uh, and goods move around a crowded city like Lagos more cleanly and efficiently. All right, uh, let's see how this is supposed to uh, work. And, of course, uh, we can find out uh, from our guests uh, this morning, Frank Sola is uh, Skyway Capital uh, Board of Directors. Good morning and good to good have morning. you on the show. It's good to have you joining us. Okay, it. and of course, uh, Mr. Ayoadewale uh, is a Nigerian partner wearing a different cap. Uh, this morning, when people see you, they expect you to be talking about politics, but this is totally uh, different. Uh, uh, very quickly, Frank Sola, um, I mean, talk to us about this eco-friendly uh, transportation. I mean, wh what exactly... Uh, are we expected to uh, see with this? Yeah. Thank you for uh, yeah. inviting to coming mm -hmm. uh, to your TV. I would like to say that uh, this technology is uh, fully innovative technology. It mm -hmm. was uh, uh, divided by Mr. Unitsky. He started work uh, in this technology from uh, 1978. It means uh, we have many, many experience uh, with this technology. We have built the uh, Ecotecto Park uh, close to Minsk. Uh, this is the capital town of uh, Belarusia, when we have the head office as well. Uh, this technology uh, was built, uh, has been tested. We received certifications. It means it's ready for the full application to the reality. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, ideally, when in Nigeria, certainly, in fact, especially Lagos, everyone would say it is time for us to move to another level. Traffic, yes. traffic, traffic, government, federal, state, local government have done everything within their powers, but they still cannot surmount or overcome. But how easy was it to adopt this new technology in a place like Lagos, for instance? Mm -hmm. Well, it's very easy. Uh, if you remember the Jakondi administration, uh, they tried to embark on I mean, uh, uh, other means of, of, of transportation apart from road. That is the, the light metro, rail, the metro, metro line. transportation. Mm. At a point, they were thinking of going underground. Uh, if you want to go underground, it's highly capital intensive. Mm -hmm. But with this technology, uh, it can be built on the laid out infrastructure that you have already in Lagos. Take, for instance, you're moving from Edo all the way down to your station. The median, the median can be adopted. You can just have a pole that is hinged on a cape, on, on, on a string, on a string. Then the, 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 the car is, is, is mounted on it. So the infrastructure is there. Uh, we are only looking at uh, government adopting it. And uh, it's, it's a seamless thing, very seamless. Okay, uh, Frank Ishek, is it similar to, I know in Wuppertal, near Dusseldorf in Germany, yeah. there's yeah. something yeah. Uh, similar to that. Is it the same thing we're talking about? I mean, it w is, are you saying it's ideal for populations like Lagos, for example, where the ground is already totally uh, uh, populated? <laughs> but talk to us about the funding. I mean, how is this going to be funded? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we've uh, heard that government's money is it's not It's very easy because this be technology it? has uh, many, many advantages. Mm. It means this is built on the second level. Mm. We can build it from the five meters above uh, the ground to 30 meters. It means okay. we uh, don't need uh, some bridges. And it is, uh, we have uh, uh, more type of this technology. We can use uh, many, many types. It means that it is built uh, well easy because we don't need uh, many, many support construction system. Mm. We solve uh, the system and uh, you can see it in our Ecotechnopunk that the distance between two support systems is 400 meters. Okay. 
that uh, it is uh, it uh, can be built uh, very easily we don't need uh, big places we need just places for the fundamentation no more and uh, it is uh, what we can uh, offer uh, for the lagos and we are able to build maybe 10 kilometers per day when everything is ready when everything is pre prepared mm -hmm. it's now, I wonder what uh, the risks will be. You, you, you would tell us about that, mm -hmm. but uh, let's come to the issue of funding, funding. Uh, that, that she asked. I wonder how, how expensive this will be and then how, whether government should, should, should fund it or government should just give approval for it to be uh, uh, constructed as the case may be? Well, the two-way approach can be adopted. Okay. Uh, government may decide to adopt the technology and, and, and make it a sole exclusive uh, for it, knowing fully well that they will generate revenue. Uh, the people can also get involved in terms of uh, buying share capital and all of that. We also make them very viable over the years and, and all of those things. But either way, it can go. It's a win-win situation. Uh, but what amazes me more is that it does not need any external uh, uh, energy source to generate it. The energy that will generate it is from the, from the technology, from the vehicle itself. And it also okay. generates energy that can also power communities. So it's an eco-friendly thing. We can also win carbon credit from it. It does not pollute the environment. In fact, uh, the street lights that we have uh, will be removed and replaced with, 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 with the poles. And on the poles also, we can also put street lightings. And to the issue of security, remember along the pipeline uh, areas in Nigeria where we have uh, oil pipeline vendors and all, mm -hmm. you can place the route of the technology around it. Mm. So it makes human movement uh, be very visible around that path. And whoever so that wants to. He acts as check and security for the pipeline. You pipelines. understand? And yes. you can lead the environment. You can lead the environment. You can put uh, security cameras along the environment. And you can even use it for tourism so that people enjoy the sky view of, of, of our landscape and all of this. It can go over water. You don't even need uh, the arbor, you understand, to get goods uh, out of the ships. It can move about uh, 200 kilometers into the sea, mm. take the goods out. Like we have the containers that are disturbing our roads and mm. all of these things. It can move container away. And we can then talk the whole of Nigeria, even the West African subcoast and the whole of Africa. Let me remain with you, uh, Ayo. Now, it, it, this will require a lot of steel uh, components Definitely. based on you know, what we have uh, looked at. Nigeria ordinarily should, uh, you know, provide the steel that you would need to, to uh, you know, power this kind of uh, project. But unfortunately, our Jakuta steel uh, complex is still uh, very much uh, moribund. How are you going to fix that, um, you know, challenge? Well, with that requirement, yes. because they have the technology also to refine. They have the technology to refine, and there are partners that can come in. I've also asked that question, mm -hmm. and uh, they are ready to establish a factory in Nigeria for processing. Uh, they are also ready to go in partnership with, uh, with, with uh, cement uh, and, and concrete manufacturing industries. So it's not just solving our transportation problem or solving the security problem. It's also going to solve our, our, our unemployment problem. So a lot of things will be coming into it. Mm. All right, uh, uh, Frank, Frank Isaac, the w which country or where else in the world has this technology been deployed for? Uh, first, uh, what I uh, need to say, as I said, we have built our Ecotechno Park mm -hmm. in Minsk. This is 38 hectares. When uh, we tested, uh, when we did uh, many, many uh, things of our technology, it is fully tested, it is fully, uh, fully certificated. Now we have uh, start uh, last month's uh, project in uh, Arabian countries, in Abu Dhabi. Okay. We are before signing the contract uh, with uh, one company in Switzerland, in uh, Europe. We, uh, two weeks ago, visited uh, Vietnam. They uh, have a big interest uh, to uh, build this technology. And we are front of signing um, the contract uh, with one of our partners to install a joint venture company in Vietnam and uh, through this company we will do activities. We had a presentation in a parliament in Vietnam okay. and they approved this technology. They approved that uh, the Skyway can go in a Vietnam uh, and, uh, and uh, build 
uh, this technology. We will use these steps uh, for other countries as well for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We need to find here a partner, big partner, strong partner, install a joint venture company and through this joint venture company do the activities. Of course we need to involve, uh, involve uh, a government as well yes. and a uh, lot of other partners how it was said for the uh, make uh, constructions and, and, and so on. Hey, Adewale, before we run along now, uh, how, if this were to become reality, how long would it take from start off to end? Take for instance to net the whole of Lagos, you'll be looking at with everything on board. Mm -hmm. Look about uh, say Ido to Ikeja, uh, Ikorodu to Ikeja, um, Apapa to Mautu area. Yes. It will take us about six months. Just everything, really everything in place. Wow. Because the because because the poles are already in place. Mm. You're only going to drill and put it. The strings are in place. You couple it. And all of that. So everything in so place. You're saying that about six in the next but, but, but how about the importation of, <laughs> I mean, of the, the because the I, see, I see that, the that is why I said yeah. everything in place. In place. Okay. If, if everything, everything is if material yes. are in place today, mm -hmm. okay. six months to install. Wow. So this is a project that billionaires should really should be falling over themselves to be yeah. part Even of. the commoners should even, be even part Abby. Of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we don't have all thank the time you, anymore, gentlemen. but we thank you, uh, Frankie <laughs> Sheikh Sola. Sola, uh, Sky Skyway Capital a member of the board of directors. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for your yeah, yeah, well, is a Nigerian partner. We look forward to this one. Uh, since yeah, it's cool. open to ordinary Nigerians like ourselves, maybe we will invest. <laughs> you, you know, I don't want to mention their name now. Yeah. You know, when the telecom company came into Nigeria, then a lot of people were skeptical. Yeah. A lot of people didn't want to come in. Mm -hmm. But when they came in, I mean, look at the time we are down today. the line. Yeah. Exactly. Those who bought shares then, look at where they are. Thank you All right, very much, Thank gentlemen. you so much. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, just before.